And welcome back gamers, this is SKS, the professor of colonization as some may call me. Am I getting cocky? Yes, but you love it. And if colonization were sod, I'd lay it in my backyard. Yes. How have you all been? I'm still trying to clear up from that sickness that Im destroyed me from the other day as my audio from the game decides to fart out on me. But I have survived. I am making it. So we're going to continue playing colonization and hopefully make our drive to getting independence here soon. Um, I'm getting antsy. I want to fight the British. So hopefully that can happen. Let's see. There's a little bit of silver here. We don't want to take that. And this. But what we're going to go, we've got everything upgraded. I'm going to see if I can pick up a few more soldiers. And if I get super antsy, we'll declare independence. If not, I'll continue building. I mean, I would love to get some more cannons. We're up here ready to privateer a little bit. Uh, we got to bring these guys all the way around the Fort Red, so that's going to take quite some time. Unless he knows a shortcut route that I don't know, he'll probably have to go back south. But whatever he thinks, the captain knows best. It's already known as the USS Fail. As you saw in my last couple of episodes, my master plan of getting a a lot of money didn't work out, but oh well, stuff happens, right? Shit happens, you wipe your butt and you go on. Oh, we have a native convert. Let's see what you can do here. You can make food. Wow, that's a lot of food. Why didn't I have him earlier? Alright, so he'll keep making food. He'll be against revolution probably. Oh, we've made another cannon. How many is here? Uh, four. So yes, I will fortify that there and leave it. And see where the turn brings me now. Maybe the maybe the French will die. <laughs> we'll just have to see. Hopefully, if the snow continues falling tonight, yes, we're getting more snow here in Kentucky. I feel like I'm living in Alaska at the moment. But if we do get more snow, hopefully I'll get another school day out tomorrow, and I could sit here and film a lot more in the game. I probably can't keep my hopes up for that, since I'm supposed to be observed by the principal tomorrow for my first official evaluation of the year, even though we're in the second trimester, as they call it. Yes, it sounds like a pregnancy. No, it's not. Um... I'm sure that we'll have school just long enough for me to have that. Alright, Spam has produced an armory. Let's see what else they can do to help us out. I'm going to have them start making... No, that's not what I want. An artillery. We have 26 hammers going up. I'll have to get some more wood there. And hope the best. Yes, 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 yes. We're working on this. Are you not making... They're making tools. Quit bugging me with your problems, woman. Gosh, what good are you all for? Oh, yeah, sex. That's right. Oh, a new cargo of tool or coats. Ha, 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 ha. We got a ton of those, so... We'll take those south whenever we get... Our wagon train back there. I think it went down to I Hate France. So yes, gamers, I will announce it. I have decided on what my next Let's Play is. Will I announce the game title? No, I will not. You will have to sit there and suffer like the rest of you. Ha 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 ha. Why would I be that way? Well, as my students say, I'm a jerk. But I'm a funny jerk. So, it all works out in the end. All right, there goes. There go. There, everything's going the wrong way. What are you doing? Go that way and this way and back and oh, Jesus Christ! What is wrong with you people? I don't even know any more gamers. I told you he'd have to go back south. He didn't listen to me. Stupid ass. You have nothing to do, so you should just sit there. I need to make some more dragoons and have. The, why are we looking at this part of the map? There's nothing there. There's fish. But, uh, I need to get some more dragoons and have them 
sporadically spread out because they'll get an ambush bonus come like the Indians do once the uh, the royal soldiers land and uh, yeah once they land on the ground shit hits the fan so have to be ready for that I know you gamers are getting excited for it because you want to see me fail you can't have democracy without fail just remember that because the doctor of colonization knows best not really but I'm gonna lie to you and tell you I do just like every other doctor out there take two of these and since you won't be here in the morning don't worry about it ah my privateer you must go south good sir how are they doing in Quebec still five people I thought they would have grown by now unload those coats what do we have here that we can take somewhere else nothing really Man, we need to find some wood they have absolutely no extra wood here because this guy's being a waste here make some crosses be a preacher Alright, go to I Hate France. See what they got down there for you to plunder. My frigate is taking that stuff over. I used to pronounce it correctly, but I've been making fun of uh, people so much over forget, frigate, that, yeah, it's more fun to say it the wrong way. I could have said funner. It's so much more funner. <laughs> Oh, I hate my life. Oh, so let's see. What is going on as the turn winds around? Happy, happy, joy, joy. Woo! -hoo. This is when the game starts getting into the very windy, taking forever turns. Um, since you could see everything on the map, since those of you asked me to open up all the map which sometimes I reserve against but I did anyway for the gamers it's always for the gamers and as the game goes funky on me again I remember times when I was playing some games what oh yeah that um I could care less about selling furs then uh, let's see here See, veteran soldiers are 2,000 gamers. Where I've been training them, you, you you can't beat that. I mean, yeah, it's it's just miraculous. And since we have the extra money, um, why not? I won't do anything to him because he can't get on the next ship. I wish I could just throw those away. Oh well. We should go back with our one dragoon unit. And I hate Francis produced an ironworks. Excellent. We will take that. And we need to produce. A college. Why are we producing a college? What are you doing? Stop that. Make hammers. There you go. Or don't listen to me. We only really need to be making ten of those. Can you... Do we have a school here? Can you teach there? No. We need the college. Urgh. So here, make, make those. I'm going to have to go buy some wood for uh, artillery. But they have so much ore, they should be able to make tools lickety split. Oh, this is why we need to stop making guns. Make more tools. Excellent. 
We got a lot of goods we need to move around, gamers. I'm just letting it sit there and go stagnant. Yes, I use the word stagnant. If horses can spoil, my my goods can go stagnant. Just a heads up for you all. Oh, I want to do it! Oh, we have Drake. We get a hundred percent bonus. We better win. No! Why would this happen to me? Drake! 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 My neighbors are probably like, Oh my god, what's going on to that young man over there? Somebody has broke in and is tearing him up. I would hope they didn't think that gamers, but... Stranger things have happened. If you hear the cops kick in, I'll totally upload this on the internet. Edited free, just so you can hear that. Because that would be kind of funny. Alright, we're going to leave you there. I should have another ship going back to Europe right now. I hope. Because I really do need to buy some lumber and send it to spam, or they're going to not be building here soon. There's a privateer, and yeah, I guess he's French. He's coming up there to protect that galleon. He knows. He knows that I'm going to go after it. And there's Guadalupe. Yeah, when you see French ships land on the same square as a privateer, you kind of know what country they come from. Sometimes I look at that X on the pirate ship and I think it's like a peace sign. Alright, the airwalks are massacring the Dutch. That's what they get. They've really pissed those Indians off up there, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it! Why do I keep trying to sell furs? Such an idiot. Alright, here's what we're going to do here. We're going to be sneaky sneaky. Horses. Muskets. Board next ship. And then two things of wood. And head back. And you will go to spam. And that should bring peace to the world as we know it. Artillery. They should be making uh, tools. Oh, I left them to make hammers. Nobody has to know that happened. Nobody. Wow, it will take one turn to produce artillery. No wonder we're tearing this up. Wow. And just for your weather update here in southeastern Kentucky, it is 32 degrees and snowing heavy. Ha 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 ha. Let's kill this thing. Let's do it, Drake. Yeah! Way not to let me down, Drake. I knew I could count on you. You come into a room and you sit on treasure, you're the man. You are the man. Why did I send you there? You have to be doing something productive. So we're going to send you to Fort Red. Because I know there's something up there we need to get rid of. Oh, I sent him down there for lumber, and I didn't have any extra. You can go to Fort Newporn. Yes, Newporn. You're at Fort Boob. Stupid Indians making me get off the pathway. This is my pathway, I tell you. We're going to go up here and sink this. I don't want to slip. I want to ram them. And kill them. Mm, drink! <sighs> Simon wouldn't let me down. He would just stare at those ships and they'd sink. When acting hasty, act really hasty. If you all know what's coming, you're probably going to laugh. But I'm getting angry. I'm getting very agitated. It's probably going to cost me dearly. Look at them bringing them boys up. Look at that. They're like, uh-oh, we got to go up here and get them. Look at them unloading troops. They have built up a massive army down there. Man, if Grimoth could do that in his playthrough, he might be in shape. See, that could be my stuff right there. But no. No, it's not. Because I'm a failure. You heard it again right here. 
What's the fail count up to? 6,724? Yes, yeah, spam has run out of lumber. We've we've figured that out. Um, I'm producing way too much food here, so can we not make lumber anywhere? Wow. Oh, I have a lumberjack, and he's not even at work. What can you do productive? Four, seven ore. Oh, we can get ore here. Well, that works out pretty nice, and I am impressed. 1626 so we're still overproducing there you go make some of those excellent a colonist in Fort Red has learned a specialty profession soldier oh and another colonist has learned the profession of soldier how can how did that happen? Oh, it's a, it's a mysterious, mystical... Oh, I just don't know. Look at all these soldiers. I need to just start sending my soldiers there that are not veteran and have them all upgraded. And we have more artillery. How many artillery things do we have here? Four. That, that's about right. Is there anything else that I want to build here? No, that's why we're going to continue building artillery. Hmm. We need to send new porn some more guys to defend. Yes, that, the sound of that noise is my head thinking. Oh, I see what we have here. We have a Mexican standoff. I'm going to win. Let's do it, Drake. No. Ramming speed. Oh, they have Drake, too. It's Drake versus Drake in the Battle of Drakes. Who will emerge victorious? Yeah! Down to Davy Jones's. French locker. Yeah. Ah, it feels so good. So good, gamers. Redemption. It's the name of the movie. Drake. Redemption. Now maybe my galleon can actually make it up there. Alright, we need to send you north. We will fortify you. I see you. Silly galleon. Walking right next to me. Listen to those awesome beats. Somebody needs to take that song and make it techno. That's all I'm going to say. Madness, madness, I tell you, madness. Oh, religious unrest. I will take the expert lumberjack, because I'm sure I can put him somewhere. And tools at Fort Boob, and muskets. Excellent. We are stockpiling up nicely. Oh, well, you go go to Fort Red, and you will swap him out with a real soldier. I need to actually get control, check all my colonies, and see who needs to send soldiers to get them trained. Let's see, any normal soldiers here? Nope. Any normal soldiers here? Nope. Well, how did they already end up that way? SKS, have you been doing something illegal? No. 
My soldiers do not use performance handling enhancing drugs. We're just born with that nice blue suit. All right, so let's take these to Fort. B oh shit! Oh shit! That's the wrong thing. No! No! Turn around! Turn around! No! Stop! 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 Somebody has to stop, or I'm gonna like waste this whole turn. Thank you. Which one was it? Is there more than one down here? You. No, you're not the right one. You. There you go. Alright, now stay on the path. Don't let the Indians push you off. There you go. Alright, I think there might be one more privateer down there, so hopefully my galleon can sneak past it. But, we're going to cut this episode short here. I guess not short, the normal time that I usually decide on. So, join me next time as we continue playing Let's Play Redundancy. Join me next time for Let's Play Colonization. This is SKS, signing off. Good night, gamers.